Alright, happy people, it's and I'm here to do an unboxing and review for you guys today of the Buck Bakurio Sentai Abba Ranger Memorial Edition Dino Race, which is the main changer from, uh, well, Abba Ranger, but also uh, Power Rangers Dino Thunder, the adaptation of Abba Ranger from 2004. This was released for the 20th anniversary last year of Abba Ranger, because Abba Ranger came out in 2003, and I'm here reviewing in 2024, the 20th anniversary year of Dino Thunder, and yeah, on top of that, uh, Abba Ranger got a 20th anniversary film uh, after Hurricaner did, I believe, and Hurricaner also got a memorial version of their main, of the main three uh, changer, the Hurricane Gyro, gonna be getting that at some point, um, but yeah, and as well as the Abba Rangers and Hurricaners both got new power-ups in their respective movies, and I'll be getting the one that comes with, uh, or that's for Abba Ranger, which will work with this version of the Dino Brace, um, when that comes out later this year. So, yeah, they basically pulled what they did with uh, Gokaiger, with 10 Gokaiger, where they introduced the, the Gokai Galleon key and everything. And then they had the Memorial Mobirates um, work with that. So, yeah. And have, like, new sounds and everything. So, yeah. But, yeah, so we get to the packaging here. And it's not really anything special. It looks like they... I'm assuming this is a recreation, for the most part, of the packaging that the original... Of, um, the original Changers... Or Changer came in back in 2003. But yeah, it kind of feels a little cheap. I'm not going to lie. It's not really that premium. Um, whereas the Gokaiger stuff... Well, for the main Changers, at the very least... He had this really nice, like, box, or these really nice boxes and everything, and packaging that makes it feel premium and everything. And even early on in the, the Memorial Ranger Keys, they felt, uh, they, they also felt, um, premium. But, unfortunately not with this. But yeah, um, I believe Decker Ranger's also getting a 20 Years After movie as well, so they're re-releasing their changer as well, so... Yeah, but yeah, I used to have the Dino Thunder version of this years ago, when it originally came out, back when I was like seven, so, yeah, uh, but that has since gone the way of eBay, I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure my mom sold it at some point, but yeah, but luckily, we get new stuff out of Japan, so yeah, so on the front, you get Abba Red right there, his T-Rex, then you get the changer right here with the three different face plates that you can put on it for all three of the main three um, dinosaurs that make up the ranger's suits and everything. So yeah. Then it says Memorial Edition right there. I'm assuming that's Dino Brace in Japanese. Bandai, Bandai Namco. Top you got the three Abba Rangers, their symbol, the logo of the show, approved by Toei Company. Then you got the side right here again with a picture of the T-Rex at a slightly different angle. So, yeah, this is definitely a feeling of 2004, so, or 2003, so. Then on the back you got a bunch of Japanese. And then it shows you what it comes with. Shows you the corresponding rangers that the faceplates go with. Then it shows you the main things here. Got an LED light in the eye. You press the button and it makes sounds. There's a hinge on the mouth right here to keep it open. And all that. So yeah. And also, it doesn't come with batteries. You need batteries. So yeah, AAA batteries. And yeah. So I've already opened this before doing this video, but for the sake of consistency with the memorial stuff, I repackaged everything. So yeah. Right here is the wrist strap that this comes with. I'm very surprised that they didn't do a wrist strap that's basically the same as the um, the original version, just maybe a bit longer. Because uh, this is just a basic black one. 
Um, and I imagine maybe the Hurricane Gyro comes with something similar. But yeah, so got the main changer right here, which has the uh, T-Rex's faceplate on by default. But here you got the uh, Pterodactyl's faceplate and the Triceratops' faceplate as well. So, yeah. So we'll just get these out. I did not remove these two faceplates. And yeah, so this is... So, how I got this was basically that, um... Is available on Amazon US. No idea how. It's sold by Amazon Japan. Um, but it is the official thing. Um, somehow they were able to put it on Amazon US. So yeah, and it's less than a hundred bucks. It's like I think it's like ninety something dollars. Um, and if you have like Prime, you can get free shipping and everything. So yeah, and this took like I want to say around a week to get to where I live from Japan. So yeah, so here we go with the dino brace. And just to show you guys how the batteries go in, so there's these little slits, or slits, or yeah, two slits, right there. You just put your fingernails in and you can take this back thing off. This is a change from the original changer from what I understand. You got the on and off switch right here. And just like the memorial, uh, Mobirates and Gokai Cellular. You push down this button. Do I have something that I can do that with? Uh, one sec. Here we go. So, you push down on that, then you push this out, and then you get access to where you put in the batteries. So, yeah. And then once you're done, put this back on, and you're ready to go. And then with this wrist strap, uh, you put this through. And then all good to go. So, yeah. And that's actually really kind of cool. Still wish it was like a version of the one that came with the original changer. And I'm assuming also the actors in both Opera Ranger and Dino Thunder War with the props, but whatever, it's still fine. So yeah, so basically you get a decent amount of sounds. I don't think as much as the Memorial Mobirates, obviously, but you do get a bunch of new sounds. Now, originally for both the Jap Japanese and US version, you only got about, like, what, four or five sounds? Basically, you press this button. And you get a call sound. And as you saw right there, you press it again, you get voice phrases from the show. But yeah, but then... Flip open them, or, you know, latch open the mouth. Then when you press this... And you get the activation noise and the growl of the T-Rex. So yeah, obviously they're going to be different with the Triceratops and Pterodactyl, but I'll show that off in a moment. Um, but yeah, but with this, they added more phrases when you press this. Okay, now it's starting to repeat. So, yeah, I'm assuming that those are phrases from the first episode of the show. I have not watched Opera Ranger yet. I do have the DVD, though, from Shout Factory, so I will watch it eventually. So, yeah. But then there's two extra buttons down here that have more sounds. So 
So yeah, that button ha uh, does music from the show. So yeah, you get the theme song. That's the song that plays over the end credits. Then I'm assuming that that's either change music or battle music. And you get the other, uh, the other button. Okay, I think it's repeating. So yeah, uh, basically this is for sounds from the first episode, I believe. This is for individual sounds of each ranger, just to show this off. So yeah, just like the Memorial Mumbirets, um, when you play the music through that, um, the music... Um, or when the music plays, you can also just do the normal uh, morph sounds and everything. And I'm assuming also the voice phrases. So yeah. Um, but just to also show this. I don't know if the original does this. I'm assuming that's the voice actor for the T-Rex. Yeah, I've only seen one episode, actually, of Ava Ranger, at least in full. I think I've seen clips, but I've seen Ava Ranger... It was episode... Whatever the episode was that was in Lost and Found in Translation, when I got the DVD... or I checked that out years ago with fan subs, and when I got the DVD from Shout Factory, I watched it again. Man, Dino Thunder really um, watered that shit down. I think that's repeating now. Yeah, so that's basically it. These also have um, tinted plastic for the eyes. Let's go with... Then it makes a different sounds when you put in the, uh, the face plates. Hold on. Yeah. Also, that also happened in the original. I saw a video where someone was reviewing the original, well, the Dino Thunder version, but the Dino Thunder version, they reused all of the uh, sounds from the sound chip in the Japanese version for it. So yeah, I'm just making sure that that doesn't play different sounds for that, but I'm assuming that those are sounds from the uh, first episode. From the episode I just mentioned.
Revolution. Yeah, I think it's starting to repeat phrases, so... Some repeating phrases at this point. So, yeah, now we get the pterodactyl. Okay, it's repeating phrases. I'm assuming that's repeating phrases. So yeah, so... Voice phrases from the actors, from the voice actors... Music from the show, as much as they could fit in there, I guess, on the sound chip, on the new sound chip, I guess, that they would have had to put in there. So, yeah. So, basically, it, I'm pretty sure, just like the Mobirates, it's based on the original molds from back in 2003, just with some parts updated. The Mobirates as well, I believe, the Memorial version is slightly bigger. It's, like, probably less than a centimeter or so, like, like bigger than the original mold. For that, I'm assuming this might be the same th uh, kind of thing, but yeah. So, really glad to have this in my collection. Uh, really do like 
uh, Power Rangers Dino Thunder, but I haven't seen it actually.